The process begins at the reception yard, a fully enclosed site to avoid the emission of odors to the outside, with capacity to receive 20 walking floor semi-trailer trucks simultaneously. Waste received will be mechanically transported through the use of overhead cranes to the feed hoppers, which are connected to the combustion grates and where a controlled temperature of over 1,000 degrees Celsius is maintained. The resulting combustion gas will exchange heat with boiler water tubes to generate high pressure and high temperature steam. The steam will feed the turbine for electricity generation. The cycle finishes at the air cooling condensers where the exiting turbine stream is condensed back to water. The resulting water returns to the beginning of the process, completing in that way a closed loop cycle with zero fluid discharge. The plant will have four separate combustion lines, which will operate simultaneously and remain active 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The energy produced by the Mexico City New Waste to Energy Plant will be interconnected to the National Electrical System and will distribute 965,000 megawatts per hour on a yearly basis to the Mexico City subway network to power the 12 subway lines. This energy is equivalent to the required for powering 120,000 homes. The plant will be equipped with state-of-the-art technology available for treating flue gas emissions, thus ensuring compliance with environmental regulations not only in Mexico, but pursuant to the highest global standards. It will also be equipped with a real-time emissions monitoring system to guarantee a proper control of emissions within the allowable levels. The combustion byproducts are to be adequately managed and may be employed as construction material. This project complies with the highest quality standards to maximize energy recovery thanks to a more efficient management of urban solid waste.